connections help me accept that negative voice as part of myself. Hi, I'm Dr. Melissa Lopez Larson. I'm a Harvard trained child, adolescent and adult psychiatrist with close to 20 years of clinical experiences treating youth and their families. I believe in treating the whole person and their family in an integrative and system-based approach. In this clip we're about to watch, we see Amy who has struggled with perfectionism and working through and dealing with her negative inner voice. Here we see Amy repair a tear in her planner with a heart sticker. We see that she's learning to love herself and her imperfections. I see perfectionism quite often in my practice. And one of the things that I like to talk to parents about is really making sure that you're unknowingly or unwittingly not increasing or contributing to your child or teen's perfectionistic tendencies. As a society overall, I think we place a lot of value on task-based performance. We're always talking about tasks and grades and college and exams and sporting events and how people are doing as a measure of their self-worth. And so I often remind parents to make sure that you're letting your child know that they're quite frankly, they're just a good human and you know, encouraging some of their inner qualities, their kindness, their compassion, their empathy, and rewarding them based on some of those internal traits rather than what their performance markers are on any given day. When our children only feel valued when they're doing good deeds or when they're exceeding or excelling in some way, it puts an additional pressure on them to perform and can in fact cause issues with their self-esteem over the long haul. So how about you and me meet in the middle? A little less negative from you and a little less perfectionism from me. I've been so afraid to look at you. But there is no you, is there? There's just me. Me and people who love me. We see here that she's having increased recognition that her perfectionism and negative thoughts are interlinked or intertwined, and they kind of feed off of one another. She recognizes that if she gives up the need for her perfectionism, her negative thoughts will also likely subside. Amy is able to see that despite her imperfections, she is still lovable and in fact is not a burden, but a girl who is worthy of love. I'm Dr. Melissa Lopez Larson with this Parent Guidance Moment. Thanks so much for sharing this moment with me.